Yo people, it's the Riddler. Today I'm just going to be going through this alien drill beat that I made. Made it when I was quite bored, so it's very complex. And definitely not for rappers, but let me just get straight into this one. Alright, first of all, BPM's at 148. I'm going to get straight into the melody. This is a preset from X-Band. It's called Angels. It's in soft pads 51, Angels here. And it's kind of like a choir, choir pad. I just put two chords down, I mean two notes. Ah shit, I ain't even got my headphones on, nigga. I've got two more variations of that. The second one has a counter melody. And the third one is just a triad chord. This just makes it have more depth. Okay, then I'm going to go with the drums. First of all, I'll play them to you. As you can tell, like I said, very complex. This is simply just made to be a beat, definitely not anything for rappers or nothing like that, like I said. But first of all, first sound is just a normal hi-hat. Got fill notes coming down in velocity and stuff. Then I got a counter snare on top of that, just straight and simple. Doesn't play the first note. Then I come in with my snare. And as you can tell, a draw beat would usually have the snare landing here, but I've got it a little bit early just to give it more bounce. Same here as well, and pretty much same throughout the whole beat. Sometimes I change it back to the original, but you know, I just put it a bit early, just make it a little bit different. And I got towards the end of the bar, I got percussion, which is a bongo perk, a gunshot, a stomp, and a little laser. I'll play this for you now. And to get the delay on the perk, I just come to its waveform, clicked on this little wrench, usually it'll start by here, clicked on this little wrench, turn the timing up to three seconds, and turn the feed up to 43%, so it kind of fades out. And that comes in like this. Done the same with the gunshot on the stomp as well for the delay. And I brought my kick in, which again is quite a simple draw, draw kick. This beats mainly for the 808 to be honest. And then I bring in the first 808, which this one's a very, very simple 808. It's just normal notes and then a couple slides and just kind of normal notes. Then within that, I've got something I call a soft 808, which is more like rounded. And I've got more crazy slides coming into this one. This is the first pattern, which is kind of normal. These are not slides, these just place notes. And I come to here, and a lot of people like this part of the 808 because it's a little bit different. So I come into my magnet up here, clicked on third step, come down and put my bass note in every four squares. So it lasts like that. And I put my slide notes in and shorten them a little bit. To get slide notes, you just press S on your keyboard and click, or you can come and just press this little button here, or but there's a lot of ways to do it. You can double click and click slide and accept, but to me, just the easiest way, just press S, and it'll turn it off and on. You can see it toggling at the top. Okay, so I put these coming down the scale. Sounds like this. Then after that, I just got more notes that are just hitting. They're not slide notes. Two slides at the end. Then I've got these slides that a lot of people like as well, which is actually too big to be on screen. There we go. And to, the way to do these, make your bass note the full length and then shorten it, which mine's to about here, and do it three times in a row. And then come up quite a few, come up like three octaves, put your slide notes on by pressing S again, click it and make it shorter and make it a little bit delayed. So it's kind of in the middle of the box. 
and they'll come to sound like this then. I just did it twice in a row, then two normal notes at the end. I've got another 808, which is called the mean 808. This one sounds like this. Very aggressive, very like saw wavy. This is also another weird 808 slide that I've actually did by accident. I'm pretty sure I did this one by accident. I did not mean to do this, but it sounded really cool. Coming to make sure you're in line now, not in third step. Three notes in a row, gap, then three notes in a row. And I've got these pretty sure they cut. Yeah, they're coming down in velocity. Control, click and drag to select everything. Come down in velocity like this. And then place slides as well and place them with quite a bit of a gap in between. And it will make a weird effect that sounds like this. So it's definitely not a normal sound. And I've got the same slides that I did earlier, but just with this 808 instead. So they've got a different effect than two, two notes at the end again. And then this 808 kind of just speaks for itself. These are not slides, these are just place notes. This, has, this is the only the only ever time that I've used reverb on an 808, uh, but it's because it's very like very high pitched and it wouldn't like make it muddy or anything. Then one last 808, this is called the big 808. It's just sounds like this. And these again, normal. And then one last weird effect that I did for this one. Put my bass notes down, very low. These are on 82. You probably can barely hear that. And I've put them every box and they're coming up in velocity. And then a few octaves up, I've done the same thing, but with slides and they're coming up in velocity as well. And it gives it this effect. And you just got slides here. Honestly, this beat can just this beat could just be a beat with just the 808. I'm not even playing the melody right now and it doesn't sound off. Then throughout the beat, of course I've got risers, I've got effects. I've actually got a reverse 808 here that builds up here. Which is layered with a riser. And for the drop, I've got dubstep sounds. I just thought they sounded cool. I found them on Looper Man and I was like, yeah, why not? Throughout the beat, this acapella plays sometimes. This got a couple of lyrics in this one and then just singing in the second part. Sounds like that. And for the intro, what I did for the intro is quite different. I put a reverb automation on and to do that, you just want to come to the mixer click on master get your reverb up put it to your liking and then right click on this little knob here and click create automation clip this will make a little box that looks like this when the line's all the way up the reverb's all the way up when it's all the way down it's all the way down if obviously if it's halfway through or anything it'll just be halfway this just determines how how much reverb you got on it i've got it fading out at the end and i've got pretty much the whole beat just at the start um, but it's just got a reverb on it and it fades out and then comes into the actual beat. So it sounds like this. That's pretty much the beat done got different random effects like these fills coming through um risers different effects here and also not only did i do that with the reverb i did it with a flanger as well so without it it would sound like this and with it it sounds like this it sounds like a little bit different and at the end i got a reverb fade out which is only halfway and it's just the kick 808 hi-hat and my acapella, not the melody. It just fades out. If there's anything you want to know about this beat that I didn't mention in this video, just comment it down below and I'll do my best to answer. Um, if I can't answer it, I'll just put it into a short video. But um, make sure you like and subscribe. That's it, until next time, I'm out, peace.